Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nazio Cole, and today we're going to be talking about Arrow Season 8, Episode 5, Prochnost. Remember guys, spoiler warning for anything Arrow Season 8, because I'm going to be talking about all that in this episode. So the episode starts off with kind of like a training montage like we saw at the start of Episode 1 of Season 1, of Oliver training Mia with the tennis balls and, and the trick arrows and whatnot, and it's kind of just showing how she would use those, and it's a pretty nice father-daughter bonding moment and it actually seems to be going pretty great it's nice to see mia and oliver getting along as i talked about in the last episode she wasn't very happy about oliver uh she just wasn't very happy in general yeah it's really nice to see them getting along as far as where we left off with the monitor last episode curtis analyzed one of the samples of one of the i think it was a piece of fabric that got clipped in the earth 2 destruction and uh yeah they said they could replicate it in this episode they found out that they need a bunch of plutonium just go over the basic stuff roy's back in this episode and he makes the realization that he needs a team to control his bloodlust like there's no other way uh john tells him about how william found him on the island in 2040 and he's like wow maybe i, I do need to join a team so it's nice to have him back uh, most likely we'll have him back for the rest of the season oliver goes back and meets with anatoly which is really nice uh nice to see them being friends again anatoly looks nice he looks healthy he doesn't look angry anymore he was not trying to kill oliver and they're, they're friends there were a lot of callbacks to previous seasons uh like i believe when he saw him he was like you're not gonna punch me in the face like uh, the one episode in season five. A lot of references to his favorite American or his second favorite American, which are also callbacks to previous seasons. So basically the theme of this episode was Mia, or rather Oliver learning to trust Mia and to trust that showing his children the bad side or uh, the bad memories of everything he experienced in Russia or just in his entire time over the five years and even his time as Green Arrow isn't a bad thing because, you know, Everyone makes mistakes and they all understand that they're adults. So uh, obviously he's treating them like children, you know, cause they are his children. But yeah, it was a really, a really nice tone. I mean, every season has that type of episode, you know, where you learn to trust, you know, stop keeping secrets and whatnot. Now in my review of last week's episode, I made a prediction on whether or not Laura was gonna betray Oliver to get her world back. Just like I said in the video, she thought about it, she was contemplating it, she was like, I really want my world back, that internal conflict that was going on inside of her. But ultimately she made the right choice and well, eh, we'll see in next episode because yeah, they all got tranked and knocked out when Laura confronted Lila at the end of the episode. Another thing came out of the scene that which I honestly did not expect because at first I thought that Earth-1 Lila was not going to be Harbinger and that was going to be some other Earth, Earth-26, Earth-45, Earth-2. You know, I, I honestly did not think that Earth-1 Lila could be Harbinger, but after this episode, just some of the lines were really suspect and making me think that she was going to be Harbinger in the coming Crisis. And the CW recently released a bunch of promo trailers for Crisis and where Harbinger is just going up to all these heroes. She went up to Batwoman, The Legends, Flash, Arrow, and they're all, and she's like, okay, we need you guys crisis is coming the crisis no it's not coming the crisis is here and we need you guys to come help out so this is just going to be really interesting i guess we're just going to wait and see episode definitely another 8 out of 10 keeping with the consistency of this season's just high episodes season 6 and 7 were all over the place season 5 was i'd say the the most comparable season to this would be either season 5 or for me season 3 i know a lot of people don't like season 3 as much but season three is one of my favorite seasons of Arrow. The quality of episodes this season has just been really unparalleled, to be honest. There's always a, some sort of cliffhanger. Mm, there was one filler episode, and even then, it was it still advanced the plot somewhat. Uh, more than a filler episode from, say, season four or season three. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below your opinions on the Arrowverse, Crisis, anything that's happening now. And I'll make sure to respond to them. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.